We're more than a third of the way through the high school football regular season. We're starting to get a feel for who the contenders are and who the pretenders are. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right to it. Here's my latest juggernauts. We're going to start with number five, and it's a team making their first appearance as a juggernaut this season. It's East Rockingham. Now, the Eagles, they've won two in a row. Their only loss came to Central East Rock. They're coming off two wins in a span of five days. Now, to be clear, Buffalo Gap gave them a pretty good game on Friday. Eagles had to grind it out, but they did find a way to win. They're going to hit the road this week to take on Harrisonburg. Number four, I have Spotswood. Now, the Trailblazers, they've won three in a row after dropping the season opener. The last win coming against Charlottesville, in which the Blazers D forced three turnovers. Spotswood opens district play this Friday when they take on William Monroe. Number three, I still have Riverheads. Now the Gladiators, they're coming off an early season bye. There's always a question whether the bye comes at a good time or a bad time for a team. I think this bye comes at a good time. They've had some early season injuries, so hopefully a time for them to get healthy. Riverheads, they travel to Wilson Memorial this week. Number two, Central. Now while Riverheads is coming off a of bye, Central's going into their bye. The Falcons are coming off a road win at Amelia County. Following the bye, Central has three consecutive games on the road. And number one, no change, Turner Ashby. They are number one. I'm not totally convinced we've seen the Knights play their best game yet, though. First half against Waynesboro, the Little Giants, give them credit. They did a good job controlling time of possession and running the football. It's almost like TA took a little bit of time to get settled in, but then when the second quarter rolled around, you saw what makes the Knights so dangerous. Such a dynamic offense, so many different weapons to go with that size up front on the offensive line. They cruise to a 50-6 win. Knights, they're also on by this week.